Welcome back to the Gill Basketball Academy channel. Our next drill is a hesitation, a hezzy, with the inside out attack of the elbow offensive move. It's a series of shooting layups, a regular layup, maybe an extended one, a reverse layup, a floater, right? Or, and a step back jumper. So you're gonna see these kids right now get into two lines. And as we do, they're gonna attack the elbow area. They're gonna attack the elbow area with their offensive moves. This is a good warm-up drill, and it's a great drill to do at any time, um, any time of the practice, um, on your own. All you need is a couple of cones. Maybe you have a chair here, or maybe you have your mother or your father standing here in front of you as a prop, as a defender. Okay, so right now we're using cones, and Coach Marcus right here um, is right in front of them telling them where to go. What we don't want is them crashing into each other. We, want them, we don't want them crashing into each other. And as you can see, what we want is for them to extend for a layup. Good. Okay, now we're gonna go into some reverse layups now. Let's start the reverse layup now. Good, perfect. Now this might be a little more difficult for some, but that's okay. We're gonna practice and make sure that they get it. He's gonna be coming to this side of the rim. Perfect, good work, good work. He's gonna come on this side and shoot the reverse layup. Good job, good try. Come, come all the way inside and do the reverse layup. Go, go to the other side of the rim, perfect. Try to use that rim and the net as your friend. Good. Perfect, that's a beautiful one, that's a beautiful one, good job. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Oh, nice left hand layup, there we go. Good work, Nayeli. There we go, Alec, good job. Now we're gonna go and do a floater. What we wanna do with this floater, keep on. What, the, what we're looking for here is for them to lift their knee and shoot the ball with the same hand, same motion. Good, nice floater. There we go. And we want to do is on the floater, we want to be able to shoot this over taller people. Okay, so the whole purpose is for them to shoot it over a taller person defender. Okay, you gotta let it go sooner, son. A floater, not a layup, a floater. Pull up before. There we go. That's it. Good job. Now they're gonna do a step back. Step back, and you're gonna watch him go. You're gonna watch him go. Do a nice, same rhythm. Plant the foot, step back. Stay within your range, very important. Very important that you stay within your range when you do the step back. Here we go, here we go. Good, nice step back, good shot. You gotta step back, make sure you step back. Good, good work, nice step back. Good rhythm, good follow through. Now we're playing with double sided rims here, so the double sided rims are a little harder, but that's okay, it's more of a challenge when you do that, okay? Here we go now, let's see Janelle. Good. JD, we're gonna end with you. Perfect. Good, good shot, get your own rebound. Good job, good work. Okay, good job, good job everyone. As you can see, uh, we, we incorporated four different offensive moves, offensive shots to this drill. It's a nice little series to work on in your backyard. Once again, you could use cones, you could use chairs, you could use people as props, just to make it a little more difficult. And if you have a tall uncle or a brother or a sister, maybe they can stand in front of you and just put their arms up as you shoot your little floater to work on that. Great job, thank you for watching our channel. Until the next video.